Hi, it's Tom Gregory here. Being able to monitor a production application is fundamental in order to be alerted of any issues and quickly find a solution. In this multi-part video series, you'll discover how to set up monitoring, graphing and alerting for a Spring Boot application. In this first video, you'll get an overview of a complete monitoring solution. You'll soon realise that it doesn't take much effort to set up basic monitoring for your application. So, let's get right into it. Before we get into the details of any specific technologies, it's important to understand what we require from a monitoring solution. For me, monitoring is everything that will allow me to know when there's an issue with my application and to give me information to figure out what's going on. So specifically, it should expose important metrics from within the application, aggregate the metrics over time, provide a way to configure rules against the metrics, sends alerts through configurable channels when the rules are broken, and provide visualization and graphing capabilities for the metrics. And just so you know, logging solutions are out of scope for this video. Let's first run through each of these requirements and add a bit more detail. In future videos, I'll do a deep dive into each of these, showing you exactly how to implement it. Exposing metrics from within a Spring Boot application. Just to be clear, when I use the word metric, I'm talking about a measurement of a value from within the application. Here are some examples. Current memory usage the number of HTTP requests, how long the HTTP requests took or their latency, the number of threads in use. These are all useful metrics to know about and fortunately Spring Boot 2 exposes all of them for free with some simple configuration. Add the Spring Boot Starter Actuator dependency, add the Micrometer Registry Prometheus dependency to your project, Add the management endpoints web exposure include equals Prometheus property to your application.properties. Once these have been added, you can browse to slash actuator slash Prometheus to see all the metrics that are exposed by default. If you don't want to set this up yourself, you can see it running by just running the Docker image that I've made available on Docker Hub with the name TK Gregory slash sample metrics applications. The links below. You can then browse to localhost 8080 slash actuator slash Prometheus to see the metrics in question. The metrics you'll see are key value pairs, just a simple metric name and value. They represent the current value of the metric. Aggregating metrics over time. Now that we have metrics exposed by our application, we need a way to pull them and keep a history of them so that we can see historical data, we can see the data over time to calculate measures such as rates, and we can query the data in an easy way. Fortunately, a tool already exists that allows us to do all these things, called Prometheus. This diagram shows how this service works. As you can see, Prometheus is intermittently polling whatever applications have been configured. It therefore contains all the historical data from these applications for whatever time frame we configure. We can also query Prometheus to search the data and bring it back in specific ways that suit our particular needs. Other applications can query Prometheus, for example a graphing application. Here I'm running a query for the rate of application requests over time. Configuring rules against metrics. There's no point in having the metrics if we're going to have to constantly monitor them for any problems in the application. Where's the fun in that? Instead, it would be better to configure certain rules using the metrics which, if broken, will alert us of the problem. Here are some examples. Memory usage greater than 95%. Number of 404 errors greater than 10% of all requests. Average response time greater than 500 milliseconds. Prometheus gives us an easy way to configure rules, which when broken will create an alert via another tool called Alert Manager. Alerts via configurable channels. When a rule is broken, it needs to be communicated to the appropriate person in some way. 
This can be tricky because not all alerts are a wake me up in the middle of the night kind of alert and not all alerts should go to the same person. Fortunately, Alert Manager allows you to configure how exactly you want an alert to be surfaced. When the rule is configured in Prometheus, you configure its labels, which can be used by Alert Manager to decide exactly where to send it. For example, you could have a label called Application, which is used to decide which specific team to send the alert to. By default, Alert Manager can send alerts to many different channels, such as email, Slack and webhooks. Visualisation and graphing capabilities When we receive an alert in the middle of the night, there needs to be an easy way to quickly understand what's happening with the application. Some kind of pre-configured dashboard allowing us to see the most important metrics in visual format would be ideal. After all, Data in a visual format is the quickest way for us to understand and figure out what to do next. Grafana is such a tool with an integration directly to Prometheus and allowing us to build helpful dashboards for our applications. These auto refresh and provide the ability to zoom in on a particular time period. What's more, when you've built a dashboard once, you can reuse it for other similar applications. So if you have a suite of similar Spring Boot microservices, as long as they're exposing similar metrics, you can reuse the same dashboard. Application monitoring is vitally important and should be thought about during application development rather than bolted on as an afterthought. The tools available today, such as Spring Boot, Prometheus and Alert Manager and Grafana, make it straightforward for us to create a monitoring solution for our application. Thanks for watching. You can find all the resources to go along with this video in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to see the following parts in this series on monitoring each week. Next week, we'll take a deep dive into Prometheus. I'll see you next time on Tom Gregory Tech.